Welcome to Build Wealth Wednesdays. It's all about perception. That's all it's about. What if you can perceive that money is good? What if you could perceive that you deserve wealth? The, what if you perceive that you are capable of generating incredible wealth? Hi, my name is Judy V and I uh, work with entrepreneurially minded people to be financially empowered so they can experience the freedom that they deserve. So what I want to speak about today is perception because that's at the end of the day it's all perception. Everything we experience is perception because we apply a meaning to whatever it is that we experience in life. So for example let's talk about this lockdown, global lockdown. Uh, we could have uh, put a meaning of fear to that. We could have put a meaning, uh, perceived it as, as holding us back in life. We could have perceived it as something that was horrific, okay? Instead of something that served us, instead of something that was good, instead of something that was, had the power to accelerate our life rather than decelerate our life. It's, yes, it was hard. Yes, there were people ill and dying. Yes, it was destroyed the economy to some point. But here's the thing, we can't control that, but we have choice, moment by moment choice, as what, how we're gonna handle it, how we're going to perceive it, and what we're gonna do with it. Because what would you rather do, perceive it as all bad, and all negative, and all damaging, and get stuck and sucked into that fear, that drama, and then that low vibrational panic state where all you bring to your life is more of that same, where you literally lock yourself down and you contract? Or would you rather perceive it as an opportunity, an opportunity to accelerate, to reevaluate, to put your life onto a whole new trajectory, to, uh, to use it and perceive it as a time to reevaluate your values in life, where you are, are you where you would love to be? Is this the direction of life that you wanted to take? So that's just one example. This lockdown it was a very powerful opportunity for us to perceive um, something different to what was obvious, okay? The same goes for money. You perceive money is evil. If you perceive money is hard to get, if that's what your perception is, okay? If that's what you believe it is, then that is what it's going to be. Okay, because you will, like Brian Tracy says, you will, you become what you think about most of the time. And if you think about, if your perception is money is hard, life is hard, relationships are hard. If you're thinking that, if that's the perception you have, that's what it's going to become, isn't it? It stands to reason. That's the way the universe works. That's the way we work. What if money is easy to come by? Money is not evil. What if you deserve the wealth that you desire? What if you deserve the freedom that you desire? What if you just change your perception, shift it? What harm will it do? What, can it, what damage can it do? Who are you going to harm? You're not going to do any damage to anybody, or, and especially not to yourself, by allowing you to step into a different perception a different meaning, apply a different meaning. Look at money as nothing but a tool. Don't put human traits on money. It doesn't deserve it, okay? Don't call money evil, don't call money good. It is what it is. It's nothing but a tool, okay? Allow money to empower you. Allow money to give you the life that you deserve. Give it that freedom, okay? Put a different perspective perspective on it, of different perception on it. Put a different spin on it. Hey, the politicians use spin, why can't we? Hey, for goodness sake. <laughs> you know, let's put a different spin on things that serve us, that don't hold us back, that don't handbrake us in life. All right? Because here's the thing. I have this philosophy. If you, you were born with a vision, Okay, you have a vision of what it is you would love your life to be. It's clear in your head. It was really clear when you were a child. As you were growing up, you had dreams, you had visions. You were clear. Okay, 
you possibly still hold on to the same visions now as you did as a child growing up or as a teenager growing up. You probably have those same desires, those same uh, dreams, those same visions, okay? I tell, this is my philosophy. If God, the universe, or Mother Nature gave you that vision, then on who, on what planet, and in what parallel universe, or what, on what possible circumstance would the universe, God, or Mother Nature also not give you two other things? One, deserve, deserving what you have a vision of, and two, the wherewithal to create what it is that you have a vision for. Okay, the only thing that stops us from creating that vision is the meaning we apply to the experiences we've had throughout life. That is it. That's the only thing that stops us. So here's a game I want you to play. It's a dance with the universe. That's what it is. I want you to dance with the universe by reframing the perception, the meaning you apply to things. So if you find yourself applying a meaning that's holding you back, that's stopping you, that's restricting you, that is constricting you, that is contracting you. I want you to switch it, okay? Switch it and say, well, why, God damn it, can't I put another meaning on it? Another perception. So if you're feeling money's hard to get, change that. Stop it. Change that around and say, money is easy to get. Money flows. Money is my tool. I used an analogy in the in a deep dive we did in the Wealth Breakthrough Group I have um, on Friday last week, and the analogy I used was think of money as a hammer. Think of money as a hammer. You've got a beautiful painting, and the example I used was a, a, one of my favorite favorite photographs that's on canvas uh, of Tiny and my wedding day. It's like 109 years ago. <laughs> it's about 20 years ago. It feels like 100 years ago, but uh, 20 years ago. And I put this beautiful photograph on canvas, and it's up on my living room wall. And I showed it and I said, like that, that's a beautiful picture. That represents freedom for me. It represents love. It re represents wealth. It represents abundance. And I have it up on my wall. And I used a hammer to nail in the, the nail in the wall so I could put this picture up on the wall. Now think of money as a hammer. It is a tool to get what it is you would love. It's a tool to achieve whatever it is you would love to achieve. It's a tool for you to get the freedom that you desire. That's what money is. It's a tool. So change your perception around money and look at it as nothing but a tool. It's a tool. When you start looking at it as that, like that, and you stop putting human traits on it, you stop trying to have build a relationship with it. You stop trying to you start so much changes when you look at money as nothing but a tool. The effect of the cause. We are the cause. We are the ones with the power. You're the one with the power, not the money. Okay? So take that power and run with it. It's all about perception. Everything that we experience in life, we can either apply a meaning that supports us or challenges us. Okay, when you apply a meaning that supports you, you can go forward. You could apply a meaning that challenges you and you want to run away from that challenge, it's going to hold you back. It's all about perception. So make sure that whatever comes up for you today, whatever you're feeling that you're perceiving things that are damaging you, holding you back, look to see how you can put a meaning on it, a perception on it that will support you, that will allow you to take something from it, from it that will allow you to propel forward in life because you deserve it. You deserve the freedom that wealth brings. So go get it. All right, guys, come and join me in the Wealth Breakthrough as a, a Facebook group I've got. And uh, we'll do a deeper dive on Friday as I always do at 10 a.m. All right, take care. Have a great day.